Welcome back to my 100 baby challenge. I had to do some soul searching, figure out what the heck I'm doing with this family. So in between episodes, I added a little money can here. This is my incentive to throw away the cakes. Before I started this, I told myself, you're not going to be one of those people who lets our family just eat cake all the time. And my family's eating cake all the time. That's a good reason to get rid of them. And flipping the script, if I have to make another cake because... I need two of them at once and somebody ate a piece. I get money. Maybe it won't be so frustrating. Upstairs, I added a bedroom and some bunk beds so the big kids can sleep on the top and the little kids can sleep on the bottom. Eventually, I'd like to put a bathroom up here as well, but that's later. We don't have any money. We've got a whole two Somalians to our name. I was also still super bummed about the girls moving out, so I went and I found them a house. They have a nice place to live. I'm sure they'll come and visit us. I don't have to be sad about it. <laughs> They're fine. They're still alive. They just don't live here. And I was also thinking I probably didn't need to be in such a rush to make the move out because the household isn't full. And to that end, I probably need to have Alice like give birth at the beginning of the timer. As soon as the little thing says that she can have a baby, she should probably have it. And the little newborns can be aged up as soon as they come home. So I should probably do that too. Because right now I'm looking at this tiny family and I'm saying to myself, can we get a cat? And I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> And it looks like everybody is asleep except for this little dude. Oh, and that little dude here. Derek, why don't you wander around? Oh, he fell back asleep. Nice. Good job, Cody. Is anybody waking up soon? What time is it? Five? I know the boys need to do homework. I also have to make a choice about Brent. I messed him up and I am just a little bit torn. He can go up the stairs on his own now. Yes, go to bed all on your own. Good job, Derek. I can't wait to see how he looks when he's older. He's so, so adorable. Oh my gosh, yes. Go into your bed. Which one are you picking? The blue one? Night, dude. Oh, don't be sad. Wait a minute. Oh, your sister's here. Where is she? Samantha? Oh yeah, she's right there. Will she take care of the baby? No, she's gonna do some push-ups. Okay, I don't think I've gotten a pop-up about Cody yet. I'd really like to let mom sleep a little bit longer. No, no, he's okay. He's okay. This is all fine. Yo, nice clay. Where'd you get that? Oh, he went back to sleep again. Cool. Yes, I got distracted. Okay, Brent. I want to go find out where Brent and Brent live. What is their last name? Hecking. Okay. Where do the Heckings live? Oh, this is... I can show you uh, where I moved the girls to. Isn't this house mega cute? I changed it a teeny bit. And I made it so it can have eight adult sims instead of, uh, it had a spot for a, an infant and a toddler. Yeah, but that's absolutely darling. This is the house off the gallery. Mina Patrick made it. Back to looking for the Heckings. There they are, Brindleton Bay. They have a dog. When mom wakes up, we gotta go give them a little visit. Gonna go give them a little visit with Brent. <laughs> oh, and everybody's awake now. We left the lot and everybody woke up. All right, mom. Oh, you're gonna take care of the baby. Derek, why did you wake up, honey? Go back to sleep. You don't need to be awake yet. Come up here. Go to bed. Check it out. We're doing it. We're purging ourselves of the cakes. Goodbye, cake. Oh, that little animation is way up there. That's okay. Yeah, Brent can like pop music. Totes my goats. Oh, those are the tofu dogs she made across the street yesterday. All right, baby's asleep. Are you going to ask your mom for advice? Yeah, go ahead. A missing toy. I was thinking about one of my favorite toys and can't find it. I'm starting to miss it and feel sad. Keep looking for it. It's got to be somewhere. Okay, this baby. I think that they've fed it. Needs his diaper changed, though. Okay, Mom, come and get some food. And then we're going on a trip. Kitty, you can work on your homework while we're gone. Oh, gonna come hang out and chit-chat with everybody and do your homework? Okay, Mom, you gotta finish eating. We gotta, we gotta get a move on here. Okay, hey, Mama's traveling with Brent. We are heading over to Brindleton Bay. Oh, there's Sir Doggy. Is he a nice boy? Oh, he's cute. Rosie, do you like her? Oh, she likes you. Oh, big stretch. Here, you can play with the doggity. And let's go knock on the door. Brent and Brent, are you home? Knock, knock, knock. Hey. Ah, oh, he's flirty. Hello, Brent. It's so nice to meet you. Let myself right in. You got a great TV. Where is your husbando? Is he upstairs? 
Oh, there he is. He's working hard. Why don't you guys have some bonding time? They really get along nicely. And this home seems like a nice place. Oh, they got a sentiment. Oh, they like each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is fine. Brant called and said he really would love his son to move in. They are going to have a lovely time together. Very loving home. Super sweet fellas. He's even got a fun puppy to play with. Loading screens, loading screens. Okay, mom. Time to head home. Goodbye, Brent. Be good boy. Kitty, did you finish your homework while we were gone? No. Could he sleep in? Oh, Samantha's still here. Derek, how are you doing? You're working on imagination? That's probably fine. Man, I hope you're doing well. Oh, yep. Doing push-ups. Pretty good. Uh-oh. Derek, what's the matter? Toy time out. Will someone provide me with something else to do? These toys are going to bring me to the tears. To the tears? These toys are going to bring on the tears. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Here, why don't you do shapes? Why is that floating in the air? Oh, it's Cody's birthday. All right, Cody, it's time. Happy birthday. Cody aged up. His trait is wiggly. Oh, he's got a funny hat on. Now, Cody, what do you need? You're hungry? Perfect. <laughs> It's time to feed the baby. All of the foods. Oh, Kitty and Samantha got a sentiment. All right, Cody likes oatmeal cereal. We're off to a good start. Why are you crying? Why is he crying? Oh, he's kind of tired. Not too bad, though. Mom is struggling. <laughs> She's over the crying infant. Oh, bye, Samantha. We'll see you later. Oh, you're going to take him to bed? All right. Night, Cody. At least he ate something. Oh, my God. You need to go to bed. It's five in the morning. <gasps> Go to sleep. Derek? Oh, buddy, you need to go to sleep, too. Alice? Oh, she's also going to bed. Well, I guess that... No, don't take a nap. Go to sleep. If you're going to lay in your bed, go to sleep. Okay, school starts for Kitty in about an hour. He's going to have a rough one. Oh, no, okay. Time to get up. Sorry, Kitty. Have a good day, buddy. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Why are you playing with dolls? Go back to sleep. You're too scared to sleep. Oh, no. Oh, you had a nightmare. Here, maybe you need to cry it out. How is Kitty doing in school? Average, he's a B student. Oh, I'm so sorry, Derek. There was a bad nightmare. Okay, we'll have Kitty study hard. And how's mom doing? Uh, can you go back to sleep? Try go night-night. No, 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 don't go down there. Don't go down there. Ugh. All right, never mind. Come on, Derek. Come get a tofu dog. Just what we like. Nice cold hot dogs right out of the fridge. What? Well, Cody is still sleeping. Alice can get started on another book. Let's write a fantasy. The long road ahead. Make a epic fantasy adventure. Cody is awake, so let's help him eat some more food. He only got one of them yesterday. He's in pretty good shape, so if I am careful about this, I might be able to get through all of them. One more! Alice, you need to take Derek to bed. He's so tired and he's so upset. Come here. Take him up here. Oh, Kitty's home. Hey, Kitty. Can you do any of this stuff? Oh, you can water it. Here. Water these. Thanks, buddy. Oh, he ate all of his foods. So here, let him out and let's make a cake for him. Kitty really needs a nap, but I want to see if I can get the cooking with just the two of them to work. Like if he is right here and he's close by, maybe it'll work because I love cooking with the kid. I don't know why it's been so busted. We are making a cake. Can we make a new one? No. We can do a blue confetti cake for Cody. He gathered and he's here. Yeah, usually they'd pull up a little stool and they get up here and help cook. I don't know if they actually get the cooking skill from this, but it's just really cute. It must just be broken. All right, kitty. Never mind. <laughs> Happy birthday, Cody! Cody earned a bonus trait, and he is independent. That's fine. Okay, let's go, buddy. Let's see. Oh, look at his curly, curly hairs. Oh, he's got huge cheeks. I want to pinch him. Raccoon sent Cody a gift for his birthday. And this cake is going in the money can. Okay, kitty, get some food, go potty, and then you can do your homework. Oh, there's pizza sitting in there. Nice. I'm going to have pizza for dinner tonight. I mean, I guess it's not the best thing that everybody's going to be waking up now. Oh, the shower is disgusting. Uh-oh, got to get that clean. Don't make a mess. Oh, no. Come on. Get up here, Alice. That was a real mess. That's like 
flour and chocolate. He's doing it again. Cody, stop making messes. I'm sorry to interrupt this fun playtime, but you really need to do your homework. What are we having for supper? Boiling frog hot pot. I don't think so. We can have blackened bass. Oh, that looks kind of good on the plate. There's some sauce there. Can you reach it up here? There you go, grumpy baby. He's pretty far along into movement, so he might be able to come downstairs on his own now. I should probably get another garbage can for up there. Okay, Mom, keep writing your book. And Derek, oh. Ellis, you need to teach Derek how to use the potty some more. He doesn't know how to use it well enough to do it on his own yet. What? Are you putting him in the high chair? That's not what I told you to do. No, 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 no. Potty. This high chair, I swear. You know, both of them are done with it. I'm going to put it away for now. Actually, while we're in here, let me grab one of these cans to take upstairs. Leave it right there in the corner. Yeah, this is how you go potty, friend. Nice, he made his way down here. Oh, he's dancing! Is the radio on? Of course it is. Okay. Kitty's gotta go to school. Have a good day, buddy. And Alice, why don't you stop teaching Derek and teach Cody for a while? It's not time to play. It's time to potty. Oh. Oh, he's going potty for realsies? Not for learnsies? Oh, Alice, what are you doing? Nobody's teaching him? I think you need to to teach him. He's learning. Try to potty. Okay, whatever. Mom, are you actually writing your book or are you playing games? Mom, you can't play games. If you're going to be at your computer, you need to work on a book. Yeah, your home is filthy. Your children are filthy. You are probably filthy yourself, Alice. Oh yeah, our other book fell off. Now we've only got two of them. No. What a cute, curious little guy. Here, we need to take him to bed. Oh, is he gonna take himself to bed? Yeah, we want to talk to Raccoon. We love our Raccoon. Mom, are you broke? I think she's broke. Let's reset her. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. His little shirt is so cute. It's a little Dalmatian shirt. Okay, good night, baby. Help him get done a little faster with this. Oh my gosh. Alice. Potty trained Derek. Oh, maybe it's an issue because she's kind of pinned here in the corner. I mean, I would think that she could walk through, but maybe the water's in the way. That's not water, that's pee. Ellis got parenting level 10! Finally! She can perform the super efficient care interactions on newborns and infants to solve all of their needs at once? I didn't know that was a thing. While performing a lot of parenting duties, Alice can now enter full parenting mode, where her own needs won't be much of a problem. Ooh! Okay, sell your trash fruits, and then I want to get rid of this. I don't particularly want to have a trash plant right in front of my patio. I think that was actually the other plant that was in front of the stairs that I tried to get rid of a while back. Alice, don't keep dirty plates in your inventory. Maybe that's why she's been complaining about things being gross and dirty so much. She's carrying garbage around with her. Kitty is an A student. Let's make him a cake. Make Kitty a matcha tea cake. Money trash can for cakes was a great idea. It's made this whole process way less frustrating. Look how much money we have. 770 simoleons. Who's calling the kitten? Raccoon would like to come over and hang out. Yes, it's going to be his birthday. Come hang out. Hey, Raccoon, it's so good to see you. Thanks for coming to visit. Thanks for coming on my birthday. Okay, come on. Come blow out your candles before your mom. Oh, no, she's got to go potty. Well, your sister's here. Happy birthday, kitty. Woohoo. Kitty aged up. His random trait. He's a dog lover. We're getting a dog for him. And when he moves out, dog can go with him. Yes. His aspiration. Oh, I've got to pick a, a real one. Hold on, let me get the website. His random aspiration is... Villainous Valentine? Really? Hmm. Katie, I can't believe you want to destroy people's relationships. That's kind of cringe. At least you'll have a dog. No, we didn't make it in time. Oh my gosh, now Samantha's here, you guys. We've got to sleep. All right, Cody can wake up now. I wonder if he can get down here and go potty on his own. Oh, he totally can because he's independent. Oh, that's great. I thought it was broken. Kitty, why don't you wake up and work on your homework now? Oh, he's too tense to do this. Oh, no. I'm digging the slides. I know, that's right. You are going to get a pet today. Oh, this cake is still sitting here. I forgot about it. That's okay. You can eat that. Are you hungry too? Here, you can have a piece of cake, I guess. Well, no, 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 no. I changed my mind. You can't have a piece of cake because then you're going to be a grouchy baby. Oh, <laughs> Kitty, can you do your homework now? Ooh, Derek got movement level three. <laughs> I'm just dancing in the bathroom. 
why not? Mom, I really need you to make this book. I need you to finish it. I kind of love that Kitty ended up being a dog lover. Alice finished her book. Let's take that and publish it immediately. Mom, can you please help me with yes. my homework? Oh my god, it's seven in the morning. Can he finish it in that time? Here, help him. Having them sleep that long was a bad idea. He's gonna be wrecked today. I'm so sorry, Kitty. And we didn't even get you a dog. Time management is difficult. Yeah, he finished it just in time. Put it away. Put it in your backpack. Have a good day at school, Kitty. I'm so sorry, friend. Hey, Yuko. Thanks for delivering the mail. Kitty has to present in front of the entire class. He has some great ideas for how to jazz up his presentation, even if they're not exactly what the teacher asked for. I think he should do the minimum because he is a tired boy today. And look at that. We've only got that one old book left on, on our report, so it's a good thing we got a new one made. Ooh, Alice has gone into labor. Get your little self down here. Alice is having a baby! Oh my god, she's so pregnant. I wonder if we're ever going to have twins. It's a girl! I had a girl name suggestion a while ago. I think it was Lola. I'm pretty sure. So we're going to go with that. All right, just the one. Hey, baby. Welcome to the world. Huh. I should have invited somebody over yesterday, but I really wanted to get that book done. So I think this is where I'm going to leave it off for today. We solved our Brent problem. We solved some of our money problems. And we've got another baby. And next episode, we'll have to get Alice on a date. I did sneakily introduce myself to Brent while we were there. Oh, no. Brent? Brent Sr. Yes. <laughs> so next episode, we're going to have him over. And we'll hopefully have a baby with him. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.